This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Having seen how we can customize and control the labels that we get with our chart, instead of sticking with the Crystal Report's default ones, we can also control the appearance to some degree of our chart. Choosing a graph, and we'll pick on the AdventureWorks sales bar chart that is now labeled. If you right click the chart and choose chart options, the first tab in here is to control the appearance of your chart. Now the options you get here are driven by the bar chart type you have chosen. So we've chosen bar chart. So we can control the overlap of the bars. We can increase that or decrease that. We can control the gap width. So that's the space between. And you can see as the gap width increases, it goes up and down. Or we can come down to get the bars right next to each other if you want. Down to zero. We can change the shape of the bars from rectangle to a bevel box or a reverse bevel box. So they're sort of indented. Or we can add, let's put a little bit of a gap on. We can add a 3D appearance by using in depth. You can see as soon as you put a tick in depth, the graph appears here and we can change the depth. You can see as that increases, they're not as deep. We can change the direction. And you can see that the 3D part goes in a different way. So it's now going physically behind or it's going more to the left as you go up and down. Or you can just drag the slider and watch it go all the way around effectively. So there are different degrees of the direction of the, the 3D-ness. Or the depth is how deep it will go. Now go up to 100 on this scale. Or right down to a 1 with very little depth. So you have that control over the appearance of your chart. The preview here is responding to any changes you make anyway. And once you've decided, you then click OK and it will happen to your chart in front of your very eyes. Now, as well as the ability to control the layout appearance, as in adding this 3D effect or the size and width of the bars, we can also control the colors that have been defined for each of the bars. So if, for example, for here, March 2008, you don't quite like that green, you can select that bar right click and format in this case it's called the series riser where you can change the color and there's plenty to choose from okay i might not be too keen on the december option there right click format the series riser and we'll go with a light purple now we could also add a pattern in or a gradient fill so red to blue or a texture now you can even go and pick a picture. Now there is a smiley face displayed here, but it doesn't seem very keen on using that usually. In the advanced options, we can browse for a picture and you'll find that we've supplied one in your working folder called Rabbit. All the files have to be effectively Windows clip art, Windows meta files. And we can open, there's your Rabbit. Okay. And then the Rabbit is used to fill the rectangle. So you can have a solid color, pattern with that color, a gradient, so a mix of two colors, a texture, or an image that has to be a Windows Meta file. As well as being able to control the fill color, we can control the border, where we can add in, again, different colors for the border, style for that border, and thickness. So I've got big, thick, fat, dotty lines. Okay, so you can go a bit too far, can you? So undo. So it's right click, chart options to change the appearance where you can control the size of these bars whether you're going for 3d or you can right click an individual bar and format the series riser to control its color pattern gradient texture or add in a windows clip art picture once you click ok those changes take effect on your graph